On to the next order of business in terms of driver ergonomics and control. So I don't have a shifter. I don't have hydro, at least in the car. So I got this stuff a year ago when I thought I was going to get this car done for last year. So I have to give a huge shout out to YDC. Um, I had a buddy grab one of their uh, hydros and like the quality and everything, you know, was phenomenal. So they came on board, you know, they've been up here on the boat. Oh, where'd it go? There we go. You know, I've been, I re represented them all last year, even though I was using the other car, which had a different shifter and hydro in it because that's what was in it. So I have to give them a huge shout out because you know, it's been a year and I haven't been able to install the stuff. I peeked in and looked at stuff when it came in, but now that I have everything out, I am even more stoked to get this stuff in. So, I mean, as you can tell, really nice, you know, powder coat, bright blue. It's going to go really well, you know, with the general bright colors and it kind of plays off the blues and the purples. So with this interior being bright white, it is going to be stellar in there. So, first up, hydro, which blocking the light. <coughs> this is, so, between heim joints, you know, heim joints here for smooth operation. You get a whole bunch of adjustment points for where, you know, the stop is. And then it is on bearings in here. So, it moves real nice. And my old shifter had a problem where, like, it would flop around. You know, I can go like, up here, I can almost probably move it that far. This one, nice and solid. Once it gets mounted down, uh, Willwood Master. They come with, um, so this is what comes in the Master uh, as for a rod. It comes with the correct rod to fit the Heim joint. And it's shorter because that is too long for the setup because they try and keep it as compact as possible. So that is this. And then, which also comes with actually a plate. So you can weld this right to the chassis. And then it has your mounting holes straight through it. Next up is the shifter. Um, this is a, again, bearings, you know, everywhere you need them to be. And this is a pendulum style shifter, so it always like self centers, which is hard to do one handed, but chassis mounted, self centering shifter. Um, again, same bright blue color. This comes with uh, this is a mounting plate to go underneath, and then this is the upper plate. Um, to go top of the tunnel as far as I know, comes with the bolts, even this little shift boot, which has a little zip tie in it. So once you get it in, you can zip tie it up and it, you know, I fought with a rubber one to try and get it on my other car, which was not a YDC. So that's a nice piece to have. And then stickers as always, one of those companies that bring or uh, sends candy, which I already ate some while I was unpackaging this. And then to go along with the shifter, this is their shift rod setup. So it is a double, you know, so instead of a single shear where you just have like the one side on stock, it's double and it is adjustable to so many lengths. Um, so basically being chassis mounted, you can use the YDC stuff in whatever chassis, you know, you're doing. So say you're using, you know, the BMW trans in something else and the shifter locations are different this gives you that option to be able to go you know as far back or as far forward and you know actually make it fit really well so i'm going to stop staring at this stuff and start mocking it up and see where you know where everything lands i'm going to jump right into the shifter here so as simple as this is you get your shifter now this base plate is going to go, say, here, which will be on top of the tunnel. And then this plate is going to go underneath the tunnel and get welded in place. And it already has, 
you know, nuts welded onto the plate. That way, this is a one-man job. It'll be, this will be welded up underneath the tunnel. This gets set on, shifter gets set on, bolts go right through to these nuts. And to make that easier, they have a template. Um, I just cut the template out. It came with the kit. I'm going to, well, trace the holes and drill the holes first. That way I can locate the plate underneath, um, grind away what I need, and I'll be able to use the holes and bolts to hold the plate in place while I weld it. So we're in that realm where parts have to go on and off multiple times, but shifter is in, um, it is all hooked up, working, I tested it, you know, I have full range for, you know, reverse, which is why the, uh, which is why the, uh, you know, hydro is in here now. So that, uh, the hydro e-brake handle is sitting right where I want it to be. I marked it. Um, you know, I did some test fitting while I was in the seat and everything works and clears. So YDC has, I don't know if you can see it down there, but there's a metal plate, uh, underneath the hydro that it mounts to. And that is another weld in piece. So now that I marked out where I want that to be, um, I will take it off of that piece. I will take the shifter back out and then I will mount or uh, weld that piece in after I, you know, prep for it. And then I got something special for you. Um, there's something a little different going on with the Hydro that I'm super, super pumped on that, you know, is turning out better than expected. But the camera doesn't really do these colors justice. They are, they are pretty nice, bright, you know, powder coated blue. They're going to pop once it goes off on white, but stick with me. Got the plate all welded in for the uh, handbrake. And now I can reveal what I've been working on a couple other nights here. So the handbrake looks, you know, really nice as it is. However, I've had this dream and I will, I wanna say dream, but the idea when, you know, the boat kind of became a thing that um, I needed some touches from the boat the original boat and I've kept a couple pieces and here's the first one that's going to go on here's some pictures of how it started so what we're looking at here is what would originally be the throttle from the boat you know uh, boats you sit on the right hand side throttle was mounted off to the right hand side so passenger in a car up against, you know, the outside of the boat. Or not outside, but you know what I'm talking about. Um, so I thought it would be the perfect shape and design if I could get the hydro to sit in it. Now, I ran into some issues, and I think the way this came out came out, you know, just as good, if not better, than the original plan. There we have it. I am... Super excited about that. That looks, you know, just how I was going for. Got that little peak of blue coming through. So when this is white, 
or the whole interior is white and that throttle box is going to be silver with these blue shifters and hydra sticking out of it it's going to be like i see the vision it's there i'm stoked on this uh, i'm so glad i got to you know make this work in here i still need to go grab bolts but you know i've got a bolt that doesn't go all the way through but it's there to locate and an allen key just to locate and then is screwed together with the one screw but i am super happy with that that's gonna be it for this video uh i'm super stoked that we got uh steering column moved you know hydro shifter both of those installed that means all of my controls are all set you know steering wheel everything sitting in the seat i felt good um i think like i said i think that's going to be it for this one we're uh trucking along uh, i'm trying to get videos out a lot quicker a little you know smaller videos and just try and keep stuff going i uh, hope everyone's entertained and like i said before like comment subscribe leave me comments things you want to see things you don't want to see things i'm doing good things i'm not like any constructive criticism i'm down for it so this is your captain out